Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, call us. Uh, the Ports Redevelopment Housing Authority Board of Commissioners meeting are held on the third Thursday of each month at uh, five o'clock. Uh, we've got five o'clock straight up. All meetings are held here at the uh, offices 3116 South Street. And let's otherwise noted, all members of the public are welcome to attend. Uh, and I, I've asked uh, Delise if you could make it happen. I want to have the next meeting at Hamilton. All right. Everybody hear that? Hamilton? Next meeting? Okay. Uh, they've got a nice uh, nice room there. Uh, I like Hamilton a lot. All right. Delise, if you could call the roll. Yes. Commissioner Crofts? Here. Commissioner Pickens? Here. Commissioner Prince? Commissioner Wicks? Commissioner Wright? Vice Chair Jiggett? Chair Lulani? Yes. Uh, can't, can't go over the minutes. Yet until we get a quorum. All right. Uh, I want to note again uh, that we do not have a city council, either one of the city council representatives here. Uh, uh, I know they were they were personally contacted this plan. All right. Uh, I'd like to keep them informed. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll just continue to move on and keep them independently aware of what we're doing uh, here at uh, the business of housing here with the city. Uh, uh, as far as uh, remarks, uh, we, I think we've had we had a good month. I think we had a very good month. Uh, of course, right before we met last month, we had that strategic planning meeting, and I thought that went very, very well. Uh, we've added some, uh, in my opinion, three three fantastic new members to the team. Uh, before I talk about that, I just want to say it's a sad, sad month. Going to be a sad couple months. We got uh, Carol Thomas leaving. And, uh, Carol, you've been with us for 20 years, 20 years and uh, have really set the bar high for us. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk about it next month and the month after September 1. Here last night, but uh, you've really set the bar high for us. And I appreciate the professionalism, your professionalism and your focus effort. Uh, but uh, uh, we've got uh, Kathy Parker, who's going to be uh, shadowing you for the next couple months. All right. Yes. Uh, but as you have told me, she's coming in with a very, very strong resume. So I appreciate uh, the, the, the new wave and the professionalism you're going to bring to us, uh, uh, Kathy. And I think I told you out there in the passageway, you, you are going to be part of the future and the vision of this organization. So you said, yeah, a lot of pressure. I said, yes, ma'am, I'm going to give you all the pressure you can handle because the more pressure we put on you and you, you, you have, the less it puts on us. So uh, we're, we, really, yeah, we really do welcome you to the team and uh, uh, please allow us to help you be successful. Uh, we have added a new or HR director, uh, Mr. Jerry Dye, uh, who will be reporting to our uh, uh, Jerry comes in with also a tremendous wealth of HR experience. And uh, I don't know if he's responsible for all that stuff on the bulletin board right now, but I see a lot of new stuff on the bulletin board that I've never seen before that's HR related. So that's good. And I appreciate that. Uh, and he'll be reporting to our uh, newest uh, uh, new member of the team, Mr. Ray Reyes. Uh, uh, who again comes aboard with a tremendous amount of, of service to his country, uh, service to organizations, but also looking forward to the service here. So uh, Ray and uh, Kathy, uh, thank you and welcome to the team. All right. Uh, if you need any help, call Cliff. Okay. Uh, in the last month, uh, uh, well, the last meeting, I thought we had a tremendous briefing uh, on MTW. Uh, I think it at least gave us a 30,000 foot level of where we're going and uh, uh, what what where this we're going to look if we come back five years from now this organization will look totally different financing is going to be totally different organizational structure is going to be totally different but i were i'm excited about what we're going and what we're going to be able to do for people here in the city of portsmouth and take it to a whole new level uh, uh i know myself i met with uh, a kiwanis group uh, a couple weeks ago spoke to a Kiwanis group and talked about some of the great things that uh, y'all are doing uh mr blaine and i uh, were on the phone yesterday with natalie anderson from the Virginia media, Virginia pilot, daily press, whatever you want to call them, talking about the uh, the uh, gun violence prevention grant that we got of $100,000 and what our intentions were for that grant. And uh, I guess Dolores, I guess a lot of that's going to pass to you yes. and uh, what you're going to help us do with as far as helping uh, our, our tenants as it comes to gun violence. And uh, the bottom line was, is uh, while the city has uh, sh shortfalls, we're filling those gaps and uh, we're, we're not waiting on things to happen. So congratulations on getting that grant 
and Ms. Blank, congratulations for getting, I hope some, hopefully they'll write the press good, right? But we've had some good things. Y'all continue to have great things happen here at PRHA, and we want to make sure that the citizens are hearing about it. Uh, this is all I want to talk about, okay? Still waiting for one more person to come, okay? Committee committee reports, okay? I, I don't know, I only got a couple people here, but we'll do committee reports, all right? Uh, finance, did you want to take it? Mr. Mr. Dick, Commissioner Jenkins, did you want to take it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pickens. Pickens. I got Jenkins on the brain. Jenkins on the brain. Right? Yes, sir. Did you want to take it? Uh, yeah, I can, I can go over it. Sir. Well, um, name again. Ray Reyes. Ray Reyes. So we, we had the pleasure to, to sit down and um, personally meet Mr. Reyes today um, and get an idea of of the direction that we're moving in um, with, with him being responsible for finances now. So looking forward to that opportunity. It's a pleasure meeting you. And, um, you know, we we went over three main things. Um, my notes come up here. I didn't have a pen, so I tried to write them write in on my phone. Um, so first thing were, uh, first thing we went over was where we stood in reference to finances and, um, the second thing was that he was going to be focusing on was um, helping out in reference to all of the openings that we have with the HR positions. And the final thing out of the three things was um, looking forward to moving forward and using the software that we have available to help out with finances versus trying to do it the manual way. Those are three things. Thanks, sir. Good. Was there anything you wanted to add or, or say, say this is your, your time, sir? So these are televised, so. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, that's one of the things that I want to do. The, uh, we have a very strong uh, financial system that I think is being underutilized. Uh, we can do a lot more than we're doing and uh, switch from spreadsheets and uh, paper documents to more efficient and quicker uh, financial information that's going to be available much faster than would. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Pickens. And uh, just some uh, specific financial questions that I asked uh, Mr. Reyes that he's not prepared, not prepared to speak to us about, but just to let y'all know kind of our level, what we talked to about. One was about the bills. Was there any bills over 120 days that hadn't been paid? So we've asked them to come back to us on any bills that have been paid over 120 days. Secondly, the uh, general unrestricted fund. I want to know if this is kind of the, uh, the additional funds that we have outside of uh, housing choice voucher and public housing. We have a third pot of funds and I want to know if there's been any expenditures out of that. He's going to get back to us on that. And then next next month, he is going to provide for us some detailed financial reports to include the breakdown by housing. Uh, housing area of where the finances are, so it's good to have the board there. Right. right, Stephanie, Renee, Sean, good having your board. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It's hot and heavy. We were here, here, but we weren't at a party. The doors were locked. There was nobody else in front. I heard that one more time. One more time. Yeah, here we go. This time I we swear. Were, tell me. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So uh, let me go back to the agenda here with the approval of uh, the commissioner minutes from uh, June 16th. Uh, I know they were sent to, to us with uh, early, but before the package came to us, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll take uh, uh, any discussions on the minutes at all or any corrections that need to be done to the minutes. I'd like to make a motion to pass the minutes as is. Very good. And second. I second. Got it. Police. Commissioner Cox. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Pranks. Yes. Commissioner Wicks. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Chair Lalani. Yes. And we'll go, uh, Zakita, you've got development? Yes. Okay, yes, ma'am. The fiscal year uh, capital fund program amendment has been received and we are working on capital improvement projects planned for the fall of 22. Uh, bonds will be used to make mostly exterior improvements to Western Holly and Pine Street and Keyword Square. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. 
And I know we're going to be going into closed session and Phillip's got about uh, four or five properties that he's going to closed session about. So hopefully we ought to hear by about 830. Mm -hmm. so, about 830. Okay. All right. Uh, Sean, did you want to present for vote or uh, I'll leave it up to you how you want to proceed on uh, human resources? Um, we're not there yet. Yeah. We, we passed out the um, passed out the books. Everybody got the book, right? Everybody okay. got the binder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the September, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. September, yeah. September, October. Okay. Now they highlighted in red what the changes are, mm. right? So uh, that doesn't mean that as board members you can't tweak again, right? Uh, but I think the easiest way to do it would be any comments that you had, uh, either refer to me or, or Mr. Bland, and then sure. Yeah. But uh, this, this, uh, other than financials, this is the other big one, which is the personnel policy for the reorganization. This is a big one for us, right? Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I know Miriam's out here. Are you going to take housing? I left yes, my phone in the car. Okay. And it's on my phone. Okay. Did you just want to have the two discuss it? Is Can that right? We, uh, Carol? Ms. Thomas? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And I'm sorry, uh, Commissioner Wicks. I don't know if you've met Miss uh, Kathy Parker. I have not. Okay, Miss Kathy Parker oh, yeah. is going to be the relief for uh, Carol. Carol's going to retire, all right, oh, on okay. one September. Okay, Thank and uh, Miss Parker's coming in, all right. And, and let me introduce right behind her is Mr. Ray Reyes, who's our new chief financial officer. All right. Okay. Uh, well, com well, Commissioner uh, Commissioner Wicks is our is every every board every housing authority board has to have someone who. Who is benefiting from the from the housing authority? It lives in the housing authority. Resident. And Miss Miss Wicks is our resident commissioner, so she brings to us that I'm living there right now, experiencing what y'all do right now, right, and bringing it to the table for us. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, Carol. Okay, I'm just going to read the report that I that was sent to uh, Vice Chair Jacobs. Uh, the Housing Choice Voucher Program is continuing to work with our mainstream family unification and emergency housing voucher holders in their search for housing. We are continuing to update household and information <coughs> for voucher issuance to Swanson residents that have selected to receive a tenant protection voucher for relocation. We are updating and purging the waiting list. The Housing Department is continuing to assist the residents with their delinquent rental accounts through the Virginia Rental Relief Program, Go2Go, and payments are being received on the residents' behalf. Also, I am presenting, and this is from Ms. Jenkins, two resolutions for public housing and assisted housing write-offs. I am requesting to write off $11,024.44 for public housing and $8,770 and 82 cents for housing, assistant housing. Uh, Ms. Jiggett had also asked me about the wait list in regards to the fact that I had indicated we were purging. She wanted to know if that had changed the numbers on the wait list. It has not yet. We just started the purging process. So as people are responding, that will determine whether or not any applications are closed. So next month, it may affect the numbers. Okay, thank you. Al, well, since, uh, did you want to brief on the public housing side? If there's anything you want to bring up at this time? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And on governance, uh, we've got uh, elections next next month. Annual annual meeting next month or September? September. September, okay. So I'm good for another month? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. You sent a copy of the corporate meeting. To okay, you want to bring that up? Yeah, uh, what we did, we sent the corporate agreement that was last updated in 1956. We sent that to the uh, new city manager, the OK. We sent a copy of the old 56 and we sent her the draft of uh, the suggested update. And I believe all the board members received that draft update. So, I didn't tell you. Yeah, I didn't tell you. so hopefully, uh, I'm hoping that within the next 30 days, I can sit down with the city manager along with uh, Karen and we can hash out uh, a new corporate agreement uh, to bring us into the 21st, 22nd, 21st century. I really want to hammer that. Your, the agreement that this organization is working with the city with was negotiated in 1956. The things that we said we were going to do, we told them in 1956. Hmm. The services that the city said they provide us was in 
56, oh. right? So these things that we're fighting with the city, security, trash, uh, uh, fire protection, roads, you know, uh, whether uh, repairs to our, our units, oversight is from a contract that we had with them in 1956. Mr. Bland and I have presented this 1956 agreement to four different city managers, right? And we're working on the fourth one now, right? And uh, this this really is affecting, in my opinion, this staff has done amazing things right? trying to, with, with what we've done. But if we could, it, it, this is the only way we're gonna have that focus from the city that says, okay, this is what we want you PRHA to do, and PRHA, this is what we can do, right? And it's overwhelmingly time to get this thing updated. I think it's just a travesty. It's 1956. It's the last time it was it was looked at. Okay, right? So is the issue that they're not allowing us to update it or you to update it? Every city manager has said they would take care of it. And it's not done. Not and it done. hasn't been done. No, no. All we can do is say we're ready to we're ready to come to the table to talk about it. And we have brought them changes that we would like to see. Tra trash, trash pick. We we pay for all our trash in our pickup of all our trash dollar units. Right. That is a tremendous expense. Can we? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, as board members, can we get a copy of? Yes, sir. Of that? Yes, sir. Email. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right Ms. Blaine, you're up. Um. Just remind you, tomorrow we have a cookout tomorrow at City Park. Uh, so I sent you an email in case you may want to come to that. Beyond that, you just get stuff from us from time to time. So just encourage you, if you have time, come out in the heat, enjoy some good food. What, what are the hours? One, one, to, one to five. Yeah. Right during the prime of the day, you know? Okay. That's, that's, that's all. Carol, you're up. I'm up. Yes, ma'am. You've got two resolutions. No, Valden. Valden. Wait a minute. I thought you said you were going to bring. <laughs> <laughs> you said there, you, Val was going to bring. I was. I was reading Val. Well, anyway, but Val said she had nothing to say, though. <laughs> she does. Trust me. Right. Definitely. <laughs> and does everybody have these in their packet? Does everybody see them in the packet? There's two of them in there. In there, Billy? Yes. Yeah. Or tab five. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Um, we are requesting approval to write off six delinquent accounts totaling $11,024. Of this amount, $9,569 is in rent. $703 in excess utilities, $752 in other miscellaneous charges, which are due from the former residents who have not lived in our authorities, low rent public housing for a period of at least three months or who are deceased. The amount to be written off represents less than 1% of the total rent posted during the last six months. The amount written off resulted from one skip out, three voluntary move outs, one death and one serious lease violation. Since January 1st, 2022, staff have collected $8,164.76 for public housing development, from which $6,559.86 is from in-house collection and $1,604.96 is from set-off debt claim. The writing off of these accounts receivables will in no way preclude our continued efforts to collect money than old the authority. It's a correction in here in the first paragraph where it says, uh, Three months is six months, so I'll collect that. Our, our says six months. Yeah. Yes. Our says six oh, months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, can you dr drill down for me, Holly Square? What, why is Holly Square? That was one resident. Her rent was nine hundred and four dollars. She used to pay rent. And because of COVID, we were not allowed to terminate. To, to terminate. So now that we're out of it, okay, that so that represents this. Right. Yeah. Tell us the two or three things that y'all do to pursue this money after they've left. Mm -hmm. Well, you said, you know, it's we still pursue, you know, talk about what, what, what y'all specifically do to try and collect this money. 
Well, she, well, we couldn't follow her for okay. So we have a system in color that we use. We put the, um, the ballots in there. So if you go to any other public development, public housing development or area, it'll show up. And then it's about <clears throat> Well, don't okay. remember to the state. In the state oh, in the state. Well, with the set off that, it'll with the, it'll take their state tax. Yeah, if they if they get a, if they do a refund, state tax. So no, I would deduct the refund. Yes, sir. right. Probably yes, sir. She didn't apply for rent relief, or she didn't apply. She did not. But we could apply for her. But if we apply and if they don't, um, so she didn't do her part. She don't do their part, they, and they won't do it. Mm -hmm. And that has happened. Okay. Okay. Any more questions on this resolution? Uh, the, this this is, uh, in my opinion, this is lower than what you've usually come to us every six months. Yeah, I, I thought this number was lower. Right. <laughs> okay. The next one, Bill. Oh, you want to take this with that? This family then we'll vote on it together. The next one is for the assistant housing. We are requesting approval to write off 10 delinquent accounts totaling $8,770.82. Of this amount, $4,765.95 is in rent, $486.30 is in excess utilities, and $3,518.57 is in miscellaneous charges, which are due from former residents who have not lived in the authority's low rent assisted housing for a period of six months or who are deceased. The amount of rent to be written off represents less than 1% of the total rent posted during the last six months. The amount written off resulted from 10 accounts resulted voluntary move out. Since January 1st, 2022, the staff has collected a total of $5,857.41 for assisted housing developments in which $4,822.96 is from in-house collection and $1,034.45 is in from set-off debt claims. The writing off of these accounts receivables will in no way complete our continued effort to collect money to owed to the authority. And just for the record, these are resolutions 20, 22, 30, and 31, correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Same situation, COVID. We're out of COVID now, and now we're starting to identify those folks that didn't pay their rent. <clears throat> okay. Are we anticipating, is, is this the, the way, is this the top of the bubble, or are we going to expect more six months from now? I'm expecting more six months from now. Okay. okay. We're having a lot of move out that day. Hmm. Explain, explain what the, what that means. Explain what that means to these numbers. They're moving Major, out. Majority's um, units are from Dale, mm -hmm. so we're having a high volume because of what's going on out there. They're moving, and we had a lot of uh, reasonable accommodations, so we have to move them from Dale to another development. So that also increases vacancies at Dale. So if they move out on their own, more than likely not going to pay us. They're not going to pay us. So those amounts is just written off, or it, do we have like a, I guess an amount that we're allotted each year for mm -hmm. write offs? That's what this is. Oh man, there is a. There's no nothing for that. But I want I want to highlight, Val has been exceptional on this. Mm -hmm. You know, she she talked about, you know, she said this represents less than one percent, which means that we've collected. And you know, we get it mm -hmm. in the uh, we get it in the uh, activity report. Ninety nine percent of rents collected. That is that's a phenomenal number, and uh, that's why I'm, I'm anxious to hear as we come out of COVID, what's going to fall out about it, right? Because now the now we're allowed to evict, and that's just start April. April just started, so uh, we're going to see how many how, what happens from it. Okay. And right. can you clarify? I know COVID is a huge issue, but just you also said what's going on out there. Well, you know. With the shooting throughout no. the city of Portsmouth, but a lot of it is being throughout our development. All right. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. Okay, let me take. I have to take them individually. All right. Uh, so the first one is uh, resolution 2022-30, resolution writing off uh, resident 
accounts receivable public housing in the amount of eleven thousand twenty four dollars and forty four cents. I need a motion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That motion. Second. Thank you, Mr. Pickens. Police. Commissioner Cross. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Wicks. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Chair Lulandi. Yes. The second one is resolution 2022-31. And for the new commissioners, this is this is something we'll be doing every six months. Every six months. Uh, 2022-31 uh, resolution writing off uncollectible resident accounts receivable assisted housing in the amount of uh, 8,000. Eight thousand seven hundred seventy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I need a motion. I make a motion. To motion. Thank you, Commissioner Wicks. Second, Commissioner Cross. Thank you, Police. Commissioner Cross. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Wick. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Chair Lalandi. Yes. Thank you very much. Are you up, Lawrence? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, I've been talking to you all for a while. Looks like you've been in Hawaii somewhere. Well, <laughs> I went to Indiana. Let hey, me know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I'm here with a um, contract addendum to our Emphasis Elite Software um, program. That is the program that we use throughout the authority for all of our programs. Oh, tab four. Mm -hmm. so. tab four. And it is, um, we have to have modifications for the moving to work um, program. So we received a products requirements document from Emphasis Computer Solutions for custom programming to update and modify our current authority wide software, which is elite. And the idea was we have to incorporate requirements that Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, and its research partner, MDRC, have identified as necessary for the Movement to Work Demonstration Program, um, Cohort 2, which is the rent reforms um, group. There's actually, in addition to us being selected as a Movement to Work agency, we also have to participate in a research project for six years. So, um, these updates will allow authority staff to identify and process certifications, recertifications for residents participating in the step rent demo, as well as the control group. And HUD through MDRC will reimburse the authority, the $124,000 um, that we have to pay for these modifications for the first year. We have to pay it up front. There is an annual maintenance agree amount of about $7,000 per year that will be our responsibility, but that is not unusual. Uh, we currently pay annual maintenance for all of our emphasis products. So um, I'm here asking for the board approval uh, based on the HUD and MD MDRC requirements for us to participate in moving to work cohort two rent reform study that we um, amend our contract with emphasis. Commissioner questions? Just these requirements are documented clearly. I have. Okay. Yeah. And we meet with them. We meet with them regularly. Let me assure you, we go through that. They've been um, making the changes um, already because there are some deadlines that um, HUD and MDRC had put on, on them to have the programming complete. That didn't happen, but that's another story. And um, so HUD has, but it's not just emphasis. Um, there are 10, 10 housing authorities in our cohort. And so, and there's three different software providers. So all the software providers have to do this. And I think everyone's a little behind. Okay. Mm. Right. So any of your staff be attending the, um, the training that they're offering? I, um, emphasis? I don't know, but that group, they're in 2022 mm -hmm. because they're offering some amazing training that will probably be helpful to your staff. We usually do. Right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. So let me bring it back. Uh, resolution 2022 uh, 32 resolution authorizing execution of a contract for software additions and modifications required for the moving to work demonstration program. Cohort two rent reform to study stepped rent between ports of redevelopment housing authority 
and Emphasis Computer Solutions Incorporated. I need a motion. I'll make a motion. Thank second. you, Commissioner Woods. Second. second. Yep, that's right. Thanks very much. All right. Commissioner Police. Cross. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Wicks. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Chair Lulandi. Great. Thank you. Good. Anything else on your side? Um, no. Okay. Uh, All right, PRHA allows up to five minutes for uh, public speakers. See any in the audience? Is there any on online? No? Okay. Uh, we're going to move now into uh, closed session. We've got five five things to cover, Philip, in closed session. Right. Get the uh, Resolution 2022-33, whereas the Freedom of Information Act provides that the Board of Commissioners can meet in a closed meeting for the discussion of the disposition of publicly held property, where discussion in an open meeting would adversely affect the bargaining position or negotiation strategy of the public body as set forth in Section 2.2 of the Code of Virginia as amended for matters for discussion are the disposition of property located at Lincoln Park, downtown, Prince Park, and Victor Crossing. Right. Okay. Uh, now, therefore, it be resolved that in compliance with the Virginia Freedom of Information Act and the aforementioned section of the Virginia Code, the Board of Commissioners shall reconvene in a closed meeting on 21 July for the discussion of the disposition of publicly held property pursuant to Virginia Code 2.2. Right. Uh, I need a motion. Motion to go in closed session. Yep. Second. Second. Yep. Police. Commissioner Cross. Yes. Commissioner Pickens. Yes. Commissioner Prince. Yes. Commissioner Witt. Yes. Commissioner Wright. Yes. Chair Lulani. Yes. All right. Let's take about uh, five minutes and then let's uh, regroup.